Good morning. Good morning, praise God. We thank God for a brand new day, a brand new mercy has allowed us to see. Before we get started with our praise and worship, we're first going to start with the word of prayer. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, O oh God. We thank you for a brand new mercy you have allowed us to see, O oh Lord. Lord, let your presence reign in this place, O oh Lord. The Lord will be forever grateful for all the things that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
full of thanks this morning because you are able to do anything that we can ask, God. Oh, God, and we thank you for it this morning, God. We thank you, Jesus. Let's begin, God. Oh, touch Jesus. Surround this church, God. Bring forth your praise on this morning, God. Let it touch somebody out there in Facebook, man, God. Don't let them give up, God. Let them know.
pray a new change things. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is in his holy temple. Amen. Hallelujah. Let all hear it. Amen. Keep silent before him. Hallelujah. As we continue in this worship series. Amen. Today on a regular Sunday. Amen. In April, we would, uh, amen, observe the anniversary of, anniversary of the, amen, the Walter Drake male chorus. Amen. Today, amen, we have the president of that chorus here yes. with us today, amen. Brother Wilbert B., amen. who will come today, amen, hallelujah, and say a few words about this special day in the life of the Evans Metropolitan AM and Zion Church. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, uh, we just said the box of the house that we just want. All right. Well, you know, uh, I've been on the left for this choir for a while, and I think we're going to sing the last stanza to the Hungry Choir. Well, you can take the mic so we can hear you. Okay. I might have been one of the later ones to get on the choir, but I, I thoroughly enjoy it. And this is one of the days that we always look forward to as a singing. Son of, 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 of uh, Reverend Willie, Ru Willie Dove and May Ellis Jones Drake was born in Cumberland County, March 21st, 1913. He was educated in the public schools of Cumberland County, where he attended the Carr School. Knowing the times were hard during the Depression, Mr. Drake went to work developing and building his future. He became a cement finisher and a master bricklayer, a profession he worked for uh, 65 years. But the Drake joined every metropolitan name in Zion Church in 1936. He has served the church as a member of the Stewart Board, every metropolitan choir, and the male choir. He was honored as Man of the Year in 1985 and by the Men of Evans Church, March 2005, when the male choir was named in his honor. April, 19, April 2006, the choir was organized and was named, it was suggested Ned White to name the choir the Walter B. Drake Male Choir. And the members agreed. At 99 years old, Mr. Drake was driving, singing, and climbing the long flight of stairs at the back of the church. At the back of the church. And each year, at the Walter B. Drake Choir anniversary, he was more than happy to give his testimony and sing one of his favorite songs, All My Journey Home. Reverend Drake was a walking historian of uh, in, 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 in Cumberland County and knowing all about the things that happened in Cumberland County and, and every metropolitan church. We've had, uh, I think, four, three presidents of the choir since then, and the first one was Brother Scott, Brother Joel Camardi, uh, and me. So I enjoy working with this, and we always enjoy celebrating Amen. this day in the name of the uh, uh, Walter B. Drake. Mm -hmm. So we're going to turn it back over to the pastor, and I know we've got a lot to say because 
children. Sister Linda now, First Lady, amen, of the great Evans Metropolitan is coming now, amen, to talk to our children. Let's gather our children as we receive now the First Lady. Mm -hmm. and there's bad things happening. Mm -hmm. 
but we should honor and obey God, our parents, and watch how God blesses us. So when we hear that voice, like that girl heard, eat the chicken, it may not make sense what God's telling us to do. Eat the chicken and wait for the dog. God bless you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. This wonderful, amen, hallelujah, music and song, amen, is coming back. Our praise team, amen. And we are going to hear our pre message and song, and then thereafter I'll give to you what the Lord has impressed upon my heart. Amen. amen. Sing, y'all. Thank you, Pastor.
and stir it up, don't you? Amen. Jesus, he'll fix it after a while. Amen. Brother Tyrone, you can put me up another octave. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Brother Beatty has already challenged me to come over the bar. Amen. But we're going to let the Lord have his way. Right. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today's uh, Amen scripture lesson can be found in the book of Luke, the very last chapter of the 24th chapter of the book of Luke. And we're going to look at a few verses of this scripture. I'm going to start at the 32nd verse and then we will go from there. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us? While he talked with us, by the way, and while he opened up uh, us uh, the scriptures, and they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together, and uh, them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way, and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me, he said, and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see me have. God's words for God's people. And the church of God will say amen. amen. Lord, be with us now. Touch my heart. Lord, and the words of my mouth. That, Lord, even the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thine sight. Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, in you will I trust. Amen. amen. That was the King James Version. But from the New International Version, verse 38 and 39 reads this way. He said to them, why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see, a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. Touch me and see, touch me and see, touch me and see, touch me and see, touch me. And see, my subject, have you touched the master? Amen. The miracle of Easter is still upon us. And surely every part of the world, for God is still pouring out his spirit on all flesh. Though we feel trouble on every side, God is still in charge. We do not have to look far to find him at work. But let me share, amen, a story of God's work. For it's in the scripture today. God is still at work in the church. Can I get an amen? amen. 
All we have to do is listen to the songs that has been said. Listen to the words that have been spoken. Listen to the words that I preach. Look into the words that God has put within our heart, our souls, and our minds. And we realize that God is still at work in the church. Like the disciples in this gospel story, many of our lives are filled with trouble and experiences, mm -hmm. thoughts that come up to our minds. They don't know what to make of the crucifixion, talking about the disciples. Mm -hmm. They did not know how to feel about the crucifixion. They did not know, amen, how to handle the empty tomb. They did not know how to internalize the emptiness that were they were feeling. Even in this day and time, how it is we are having trouble trying to rationalize why it is that we are pu uh, uh, preaching to pews that are empty of how and why we are broadcasting because of a pandemic caused by COVID-19. Uh, but I stop by to tell you that in spite of all, God is still working uh, in the church for while the disciple was in uh, that upper room, uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he walked through the door. Uh, he stood uh, in their midst uh, and he said to them, uh, look at me, uh, I am not like a ghost. Uh, I was not like Spark uh, on the Star Trek. Uh, they did not have to be me in. Uh, I'm here with you and all you need to do uh, is touch me and see uh, that I am real. Yes, hallelujah. 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 He's real. Oh, yes. All we need to do uh, is touch him. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Surely the disciples were wondering what went wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, is all or uh, was that all that there was to the Easter. Jesus had preached for three years. They had walked with him. They had talked with him. And all of a sudden, he was no more. But now, in the midst of all of that, amen, here he is. He walked through the door. Oh, y'all ain't understanding me today. Don't you know that Jesus will walk into your situation. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Yes, that while you're going through your troubles and you're wondering this and you're wondering that and you're asking yourself what was all of that about? Jesus will step uh, right into your life. Uh, can you get an amen uh, on this right here to know amen that all we have to do and reach out and to touch him uh, even on a day like this. Uh, hallelujah. It brings back even the mind. Uh, the lady uh, that was sick uh, for 12 long years uh, and Jesus showed up in town. Uh, she was pushing her way. Uh, the disciples wanted to deny her uh, and to push her away. Uh, but I would imagine in her mind uh, she was saying now, if I could just reach out uh, and touch uh, the hem of his garment, uh, I would be all right. Uh, my blood issue uh, will dry up. Uh, I'm stopping by the chair. Uh, you got to reach out uh, and touch uh, the master. Uh, am I right about that? He's real. He's real. He's real. But you got to touch him. Hallelujah. See, sometimes we get comfortable within ourselves. And I'm closing this paper right now. Amen. We got to get real with the Lord. Uh, Y'all with me right now? Just sometimes we're on cruise control. Y'all know what cruise control is all about, don't we? We all have all these fancy cars, and I don't know about you, but I use my cruise control all the time. I, it helps me, amen, in my gas economy. It helps 
need. Amen. Hallelujah. Not to always got to be touching the gas pedal, but let me tell you, sometimes uh, in our spirituality, we uh, get on cruise control. Uh, see, sometimes we're like that little lady huh, and her husband huh, that went on a vacation. Yeah, I'm telling you a story, huh, and it has a little bit of meaning to it. Huh, but God knows huh, they went out and they rented an RV. Huh, that's a recreation vehicle. If you don't understand the lingo, huh, they were riding down the road. Uh, the little old lady had not operated anything uh, but their Volkswagen. Uh, so the husband looked over and said to her, baby, do you want to try, amen, the RV? Uh, she said, yes. Uh, she found the cruise control. Uh, after a while, uh, she felt like she had to use the restroom. Uh, so she put it on cruise control. Uh, she got up. Uh, she went uh, to the restroom. Oh, Lord. God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, when the cop show up uh, and took the vehicle off the tree uh, that she had ran into, uh, the police asked her, uh, what happened? Uh, she said, well, uh, I put it on cruise control. Uh, I thought that was like automatic pilot uh, on an airplane. Uh, you see, that's what it is. Uh, Sometimes we get so jacked up uh, in our own self. Uh, we put our spirituality uh, on cruise control. Uh, but I stopped by to tell you, uh, Jesus is right there. Uh, you got to take, uh, oh God Almighty, uh, you got to take action. Uh, you got to reach out. You got to touch him. Uh, and when you touch him, uh, something begin to happen. Uh, you'll come alive. Uh, you begin to praise him. Uh, you'll stand up. Uh, you'll tell him thank you. Uh, for he's a good God. Uh, he's a right now God. Uh, he's been right there. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to get over their bar. I'm trying to get a word out that all we need to do is touch the master. I don't care what you're going through. Just God, just take your hands. Touch the master. Lift up your hand. Give God praise. Don't you know when the praises go up, blessings begin to flow. Am I right about that? Good God Almighty. The disciples were dismayed. Uh, they were perplexed. Uh, they could not understand. Uh, but I stopped by to tell you, uh, sometimes uh, you won't understand. Uh, but God knows, uh, have that yet praise. Uh, that yet, uh, I am down. Uh, I know uh, I can get up. Uh, if only uh, I could look up. Uh, if you look up, uh, you can get up. Uh, like preaching, I, I feel like telling somebody, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up, oh Lord, the Lord Jesus, he's right here, said he'll never leave you, said he'll never forsake you, all I got to do is touch him, touch him right now, am I right about that? Touch the master. Have you touched him today? Hallelujah. Touch him and everything will be all right. Hallelujah. Have you touched the master? Hallelujah. So sometimes we want to touch everything but the master. Hallelujah. Take your hands off the cruise control. Put it on the pedal. A pedal named Jesus. He'll take your places you've never been before. Lord have mercy. He's speaking to somebody today. He says, come to me. I give you rest. You've been laboring, but come to me. I give you rest. Lord have mercy. Come into the house, come into the house, come into my heart, touch me right now, hallelujah, I give it all to you, hallelujah. 
young lady and after meeting her we we dated for a little while but then I got shipped off to Germany and I don't know what my thoughts were while I was over there brother B but it wasn't coming back I'm looking for a for a lady named Bertha Yolindo when I got back, I was so tired when I got back to the quarters. And the charge of quarters, us guys that's in charge while everyone is sleeping, we came and just knocked on my door. He said, Lindo. He says, there is a pretty young lady outside looking for you. thought about that thing, I was tired. But I had to see who this pretty young lady was, you know. <coughs> Hallelujah. I went out there, Brother Beanie, and there she was. The prettiest thing that I could find in the day. Still today, amen. 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 Still today. Hallelujah. And I had to get shipped off to Germany again. She said to me, Brother Bernard, she said to me, well, she didn't say put a ring on it, but she did say we're still young. I said, oh, man. Uh, you know what that was telling me, right? <laughs> young folks do crazy things, don't they, Brother Pete? <laughs> so I had to do what was right. I married this young lady. And here it is, 46 years later. Amen. And if you look at her hand, you will find a ring on it. And that is real. God is real. Just look and touch and see. He is as real as anything that we can see. And he reaches out to you today. And he's saying, through the blood of Jesus Christ and what he has done, 
He's saying, touch me. Touch me. For I am real. As real as real will get. Hallelujah. If you have not received Jesus Christ as a part of your sins, touch him today. Touch him today. And see how real he is. God bless you. We thank God for you. And the question again, have you touched the master? Have you touched the master? Have you touched the master? Is he real in your life? God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Give you peace. Let us bow our heads. Now may the peace of God which passes all understanding God, your hearts and your minds. In the love of his very wonderful son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Now may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost be with you and rest with you henceforth and forevermore. And the church of God will sing together. Have you touched?